Okay guys, so I had a couple requests um, for me to show you how I do the technique with the paper towels. And um, you can use anything um, that like will work with water basically. Um, I'm going to use um, these watercolor paints. Um, but you can also use, um, I've used Distress inks, um, you can use Glimmer Mist, you can use alcohol inks, you can use any of those things that will work with water basically. Um, so that's what these are, is the watercolors. And I decided to do like a Valentine's theme. Um, I'm also going to use this brush, but you can you can paint on them with just a regular paintbrush. You can um, you can stamp on it. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when I stamp on it. Um, I don't, it. To me, the possibilities are really endless as far as this goes. So um, I usually put down a piece of um, wax paper first, just to protect my surface, and then I'm going to squirt the paper towel. That's what this is: is paper towel, uh, and it's two ply and I leave both of those together and then I'm going to squirt the whole surface of it with just regular water first just to get it damp. Obviously watercolors work better with water. Then um, I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to start with the lightest color first and I actually want some white so I'm just going to stamp it on here which you probably can't see but um, in just making circles, which you can't see with the light, I'm sure, but, um, okay, so now I'm going to move on to, like, the pink color, um, I kind of like it, too, um, with the pink, I had to mix red and white to get the pink. I like the, um, in the bottom, it, a lot of times it ends up with this extra stuff that didn't quite mix in, and it kind of leaves a neat little red effect. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the actual red. And obviously you can just stamp as much or as little as you want. I think that's enough for, for that. Um, and so now, actually, I'm going to take one of these, um, who is, uh, Heidi Swap stamps, and I'm going to use a paintbrush, and I'm just going to paint it on to the stamp, and just randomly stamp it onto my image. So obviously you could do this with any, uh, any stamps you wanted to. So you get the idea. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. Um, let me move this out of the way for a second. So then you would set this aside to dry. And it'll take a while to dry because it's pretty wet. Um, anyway, so then when you get done, you'll have something like this. Um, this one, I just didn't do the black. And um, I also sprayed Glimmer Mist over the top of it. So then um, you separate them. You go ahead and separate the two plies. And then, apparently I got some on my hand. So then I'm going to use um, Mod Podge, which I just stuck in the middle, and paint it on. I don't know if I mentioned, to me the whole point in using this technique is just that um, it adds a lot of really neat texture to your, whatever you're working with. It's basically a really, neat textured paper that you're making. Um, and this is actually is not like an original idea that I had. I think I seen it on a show that I believe the girl's name was Tracy Batista, I think. And I don't remember how exactly she did it or what she used, but she used some paper towels and did a technique similar to this. And so I just thought it was kind of neat and ended up doing it my own version. I don't, like I said, I don't remember how she did it, but um, 
but I think that she had some pretty neat art journals and things like that that she would use this some type of paper towel technique with. So that's where I got the idea. Um, so basically you're just going to lay the paper towel down over the top and then you'd start um, going over the whole thing with Mod Podge. And um, I won't go through that whole thing either. I'll show you the finished product. And obviously it varies um, based on the paper that you put on the background. Like this has the white. So um, it becomes like a really textured and neat paper. Um, you know, you know one thing I've never figured out though is like I don't know if you would want to do this if you're looking for something really archival because I can never figure out if Mod Podge is actually um, acid free or not. Um, I've looked on the bottle all over the place. I don't know if it is, but anyway. Um, so this is another one I did. Um, These are like the bigger Heidi Swap hearts, and then on black paper, so it's obviously darker. And then um, here's some other examples that I've. This is just a card I did using help for Halloween, obviously Halloween colors. It's the, the it's just a really neat technique because it has the um, the the feel of it is just really neat. This one I used um, mists on. Um, um, you know, like all, you can even use the uh, the perfect pearls in with the water that works on there too. Um, this one is the same thing, except I used um, distress inks on this one, which is very a lot more concentrated. Um, and then I actually just threw glitter over the top of it um, after I had mod podged it to add more to the paper. And this is actually too what the uh, distress inks look like on it. I think I was trying to make these look like flowers. Um, but so that's the whole technique. Um, I hope you guys try it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.